I narrowly escaped this 400 yard wide tornado back on May 22nd. But Bowie, Texas wasn't so lucky. This could have been me. The truck is moving! I was just there five minutes before. Yep, we're inside a tornado. But I wish I could say I was trying to get to a safer place. Shoot, my ears just popped. Hey everyone, Pi here. Thanks for coming back for more. Yesterday's alien mothership had produced an outflow boundary that was actually the key factor in today's setup. So this world will be looking for tornadoes to form. I targeted the south side of the boundary, but a storm popped up near the Red River that got me to hightail it back up there. The storm exploded into an anvil that towered over Wichita Falls. I got there just as a base got closer to the ground. Yeah, I think that's a front of cloud, Amber. Sweet! It looks like it. Ah! Okay, I need to get into a better position. I guess trying to form a hook in that radar. The mesocyclone just spun above me as it reached out to tickle the Texas plains. Oh, 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 what's that? Ground circulation? Maybe ground circulation? All right, I'd say this is close enough for flying a drone. Okay, sweet. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna go multi-vortex to me, so be careful with this one. My sister Amber was watching another Chaser's live stream. Let's go ahead and get set up. Man, that whole thing looks like it's rotating. Ooh, it's, it's hot out here. Speeding up my footage confirmed my suspicion. Yeah, they finally, they finally warmed it. Gotcha. Alright, we gotta get this off the timeline. Come on. I need water. My mouth is super dry. It's turning right. Ooh, there's the funnel cloud again. Ooh, it is spinning like crazy. And it's moving slow too, so. I'm missing anything. Just a tornado, I think. We're gonna have a nice look there. Okay, there's a clear slot coming through. Zap. Okay, they're saying observe, really. I didn't really care much for glorified I mean, dust devils, yeah, though. Come on. Here comes the clear slot. The anticipation. It's. All right, got some dust rising on the right. Is it really gonna drop over there on the right? It's starting to rain. We gotta go. Dust started being lofted and blown towards me. And I could no longer fly my drones in the inflow winds. The storm was about to hit anyway, so I got ready to reposition. There's the rear flank surge. Oh, come on! Dang it, I think it's about to get rain wrapped. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Figured this would happen when it started turning right again. Give me AC. Looking back on my time lapse, I had caught at least two tornadoes. But I didn't drive all this way just to see bird farts. Storms down south doing. Wow, yeah, I can see the storms from here. They look pretty epic. The storm continued to terrorize the Red River region, and it was getting more into a populated area. He's not bad. Being so close to Wichita Falls, even city goers came out of the woodwork to check out the storm. That just sounds like a depressing siren. Not that I can blame them. Well, that's a new form of cool to storm chase on a motorcycle. I grew impatient waiting for the storm to do something. The highway is packed with storm chasers. Oh yeah, I think it's time to abandon this storm. Such a beautiful supercell. It did still look promising, but the storms from my first target area were about to get in the way. 
I would be using valuable daylight to get back down there, though. Oh, that hook echo down there is looking better. If only it stayed down there. You would have been so mad at yourself. Ah, I just went tornado warn. Ah! Oh, and the north one just went tornado warn as well. Road is a straight shot in the south. Observe. What's observed? Yeah, it's the south one. Yeah. <laughs> I was right there. I was right there. Oh, shoot, here come the trees. No! No! What's that cloud doing? was on, and this supercell had untapped moisture all to itself. But I would soon get more than I bargained for. Oh my goodness, look at that wall cloud. Oh, funnel cloud. There we go. This is a great view. Minus the fence. It slowly fed on the humid Texas air. At any moment, it looked ready to pounce. Then it found a prey and began to stalk. What's that down there? Oh, what is that? What is that? but it was like it was waiting for the cover of darkness to attack. <laughs> Come on, we'll take any tornado up close. Rain wrapped nighttime, just give me something. I raced to escape the clutches of its teeth. The radar I'm using here shows wind velocities in opposite directions, and bright colors can indicate tight rotation. When I got ahead, the unsuspecting town of Bowie found itself in its gaze. When I got to Bowie, I was passed by Mark Payton. If this footage never gets uploaded, it's probably because we're like hurling through the air. This was just 10 minutes before they got hit by the tornado. Creepy sirens. Why is only one light? The tornado was literally eight minutes away, and I was concerned with running this light. Okay, you know what? Well, that backfired. Despite what was headed for buoy, I thought there was a better circulation outside of town. Shoot, if you want to see something, you should go back north. Not that I was going to see anything in the pouring rain anyway, but this was about to be a pivotal move for me. Mind you, not because I was trying to get to safety. But I still got out of there with five minutes to spare. Ooh, very thankful for the reflectors in the road. But the rain and wind was still merciless. Gosh dang it. I'm biting off more than I can chew. When I started to see leaves hit the road, I began to question what I was really trying to do. Oh, there we go. Wind going the other direction. Shoot, my ears just popped. 
I was driving uphill, but I couldn't help to wonder if there was something more to this pressure drop. I almost ignored it, but I was just like, you know what? I am a sitting duck. Okay, it's got to have moved off to the east at this point. The closest radars did show some pretty fast velocities over me. But the National Weather Service didn't find any damage here, so I'm pretty sure it was just straight line winds. Well, hello guys. Are you here to see wind and rain too? Oh, this is dumb. Just then, however, the latest radar frame caught my attention. Whoa. Okay, well either that's radar glitchy stuff, or there is a tornado on Bowie right now. The radar was far, but my suspicions were correct. I timed this animation using the survey from the National Weather Service later. Well, um, hello. This wasn't here when I was just through here. That's nuts. I didn't even notice this power line I had just run over to. Hello. Wow. That one. A couple of chunks. Okay, what are you doing behind me? Hey, you're going around. Oh shoot, you're going through power lines, dude. Yikes. <laughs> that is so hard to see. Okay, I guess we go down this way, go underneath the power line. Fortunately, down lines do cause the power to go out. So these probably weren't live. That branch is literally floating down the road. I should probably not be driving in this. Oh, there goes a dumpster. <laughs> that's hilarious. So that's just getting deeper. Crossing the rapids again. Oh, Amber. Bowie, Oklahoma got pummeled. Really? Is this a river or is this a road? Sounds like you should just find a place to sleep for the night and then take a video tomorrow. Oh, we can read the historical marker. Sure. Perfect time to do that. Um, I don't think that thing is supposed to be wrapped around that post. It was a maze navigating the residential streets before I finally got back onto their main street. I don't think the microbers can do that. I'm on the main road. Oh boy. You need to stop. I couldn't tell that it was water. Oh. Careful. It's saying it's radar oh. indicated. They don't know the screen. Shoot. That's some crazy debris. Man, I was, I was literally just here. You're not supposed to chase at night. This was actually the gas station that Mark Payton was wisely sheltering in. Oops, I just oh, drove oh, over a curb. Someone just empinged Holmes buildings completely destroyed. No, in Bowie? In Bowie. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. Okay. I just drove into a lake. Yeah. I don't exactly have the clearance for that. Man, this poor business over here is all flooded. What went on here? That's why they said buildings destroyed. There's a demolished building. It looks like it's an old one, but sheesh. This has got to be a tornado. I seriously drove through this town like just before a tornado hit it? I've never seen a fence uprooted before. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't try going that way. I decided to spend the night just down the highway. Everyone is in the right lane, and I'm not so sure why. But the traffic became unbearable. Are they just people that are just trying to get out of the hail from the overpass? Yes, that's all it is. People, you're good to go. The hail has stopped. So I'm relieved to say that I also didn't get caught in a 400 wide tornado. But it was pretty much just luck that I got out of there in time. So it was a valuable lesson that I learned that anytime I lose my situation awareness, it's time to get out of there. Oh, look at that.
Tomorrow, the morning light revealed the extent of the damage. 